Welcome back to Google Classroom, where we'll talk about how to communicate with your students in this module. Let's get started in the stream. This is where we can post announcements, provocations, and other things to engage conversations with our students. Let's just get started with a basic announcement. Click here in this window and type in your announcement. You can also add things to your announcements. Click the Add button and choose from Google Drive, a link to a website, a file from your hard drive, or even a YouTube video. In this case, I'll add something from Google Drive. You can send this announcement to just the people in this class, or you can choose other classes that would receive the same announcement. If you just choose this one class, you can also just send it to specific students. Lastly, you can post it so it'll go live right away, or you can schedule it to be sent out at another date and time, or save it as a draft for later. I'm gonna go ahead and post it. This means the students and other teachers in my class will receive a notification. Let's post another announcement. Let's try to engage a conversation with our students by posting a provocation. Once it's posted, students can click below and add their thoughts. Another way to communicate with our class using Google Classroom is to use Google Meet. Here in our Classroom banner is a link to create a Google Meet. I can click here to generate that link and only make it visible to myself or making sure this is turned on, it'll be visible to all students. Students can only join that Google Meet once a teacher has launched it. When a teacher leaves that Google Meet, students will no longer be able to get in. Another way to communicate with our class here in Google Classroom is to go to the People tab. Here, I can select all my students and choose to email them all at once. Or I can deselect all my students and just email one or two of them. Google Classroom is a great way for me to communicate with my students. 